I do have specific questions uh, for Secretary uh, Morano and uh, Costello, uh, General Hammerstead, who is uh, doing a great job at Robbins Air Force Base uh, in, in the use of robotics. Uh, you mentioned this in your testimony. Uh, Robbins has spearheaded the, uh, the implementation of the DOD's robotics. And uh, my question is, what is the department's plan to expand that technology uh, into the rest of the organic industrial base? And what do you need from this committee as we push forward with both the NDAA and uh, the appropriation measures for uh, the DOD to do that? Uh, Mr. Scott, thank you for the question. So that is something I can talk about. Um, so uh, you're absolutely right. There is some tremendous work going on at Warner Robins. I was just there. Uh, that is the uh, most recent depot that I was able to visit. And uh, I can tell you I was part of Air Force Sustainment Center before, two years ago. Um, I had visited there, and I can see a marked improvement in what is going on there in the implementation of robotics. So. Um, Warner Robbins is actually leading the department when it comes to implementation of robotics. They have right now over um, uh, 40 robotic machines that are, uh, again, taking the place of, of the human. They're increasing productivity, they're increasing quality, they're, they're increasing health and safety. Um, and then the, the other benefit is the reduction in environmental impact. So. Um, we have uh, worked with Warner Robins. Um, we have worked with the other services. We have a very, very robust um, uh, working group. We call it J-Robot, Joint Robotics Organization for Building Organic Technologies. Uh, we have policy uh, that's in draft right now, first time in the department's history, uh, policy for how we're gonna implement uh, and use uh, robotic systems for manufacturing and sustainment. Um, and we have been partnering with the, the ARM Institute, the Advanced Robotics and Manufacturing Institute in uh, Pittsburgh. So we're working with, with uh, industry and academia on the, on the same uh, plane to ensure that we're taking advantage of, of what um, industry has and in incorporating it in our depot. So very proud of what's going on at Robbins. Secretary Morani, thank you, thank you for that answer. If you do have specific recommendations for the National Defense Authorization Act or for the appropriations with regard to robotics and how we uh, implement that as soon as possible. That would be appreciated in short order as we're uh, pushing pretty quick. Secretary Costello, I'm going to move to a second question because I'm down to a minute and a half. And the, the Catch Up and Leap Ahead initiative, uh, you described this in your testimony. Uh, can you speak a little more to the, the, the Catch Up and Leap Ahead and the prioritization that, that uh, we can expect from the Air Force on that? Yes, thank you for that question. Um, in addition to the 6%, our catch-up is to invest in using our production, our procurement, I'm sorry, our MILCON, our funds that are budgeted either with programs or for the sustainment centers themselves. And then the leap ahead is that future technology the networks, the you know, technical infrastructure in order to get to that digital depot that we want in the future. So that's kind of what the two are. As far as funding it, that leap ahead is the harder one. That's because we were reliant on our future budgets in order to have a steady stream of funding in there to make that happen. But that's what we're lobbying for. That's part of our plan. Uh, and we do start putting things in place now and each year going forward. And, and um, as we can find additional resources, we do have a fully populated, prioritized list of which things would go first, second, third, fourth. And that is exactly where we'll go as funds are made available either in the same year or as we go into future years. So that's how we plan to address both of those. Thank, thank you all for being here.